Well, hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Lutherville. So this one is all about getting the framing together, right? Just starting on the framing, laying the foundation, uh, getting up the walls, things like that. And I can show you a few pictures uh, of that progress. Right here is the trailer with one of the ramps removed. You can see that the driver's side ramp has been uh, taken off because we're just going to be keeping the passenger side ramp and uh, the flashing is in place and that's really about it. Right here you can see a start to some of the framing that will consist of the floor and the problem with this though I, I noticed immediately as soon as I saw it is if you've watched the previous video and understand where the porch area is supposed to go, uh, this is not correct because look at where the passenger side ramp is stopping. It's coming right up to a <laughs> six inch high piece of wood. Uh, I really can't ride my motorcycle up that. So I quickly emailed them back and let them know, hey, uh, you didn't frame this right. So they went out and cut the wood so that it would be level with the deck. And now the framing is obviously a, a lot more correct in this image. So right around this time, I imagine that you're probably thinking, well, the exact same thing that I am, which is, wait a second. Um, Eric, didn't you say back like months ago that this was going to take three months to finish like why isn't it done yet well <laughs> i'm actually asking myself that exact same question all the time i have no idea why my tiny house hasn't been finished yet tennessee tiny homes has given me plenty of responses whenever i ask those kind of questions oh things from well, we didn't order the trailer yet. That was after the first month, after I had given them the money. And then, oh, well, one of our workers got injured and he was in the hospital. And, oh, well, we ordered the water tanks, which, by the way, they ordered the water tanks, oh, about two weeks after the house was supposed to be completely finished. Well, the water tanks weren't the right size. Uh, so we had to order them again, and oh, I'm on vacation this week, so they always have a reason why they're not working on my house. Are they ever going to finish it? Well, I sure hope so. So, where do we stand? Well, we stand exactly where I have shown you. The house, according to our contract, was supposed to be finished in three months. It is now exactly seven weeks late. I am recording this video on September 17th of 2016. So the house is officially seven weeks late, almost two months overdue, and nothing has been done except getting the trailer, taking off the wood, and putting down the flashing. Which, you know, I could have done that myself in about a week. Needless to say, I'm not in a good mood. This whole experience was supposed to be a lot of fun and really enjoyable, and it would have been, it would have been, if the people doing the work for me had actually been honorable. And by honorable, I mean meeting the deadline and doing the work with excellent quality. The deadline hasn't been met, I certainly hope that if they actually do any work, that it will be good quality. But after all of this frustration and anger at being told something is going to be finished when it's not, as I continue to spend way more money than I intended, going far over my budget because I'm continuing to pay rent and utilities when I thought that I was going to be done paying those things two months ago. Despite all of that frustration, 
I kind of felt a little bit better when I realized that my problem is something that so many of you have gone through yourselves, right? I mean, you hear about these kind of stories all the time. I would guess, what would you say? What, like 80% of contractors and construction people never seem to get jobs done on time? You hear these stories constantly. Oh, well, I was getting a swimming pool uh, put in my backyard and it was supposed to take two weeks and the contractors just didn't show up and then they finally did and they dug the hole and then they disappeared for like two weeks and it rained and the thing caved in, they had, right? You hear stories like that all the time. Oh, I was getting an addition put on my house and I don't know what was up with these construction people. They just, they didn't show up when they said they would and it took them way longer. You know, my, my grandfather, my grandfather got siding put on her house like years ago when I was a little kid. And you know, how long does it take to put siding on a house, right? Like, like a week, two weeks. It took all summer. The guy got half the house done and then he wouldn't show up for a week at a time. Then he would show up and he would work for like two hours. Then he would go home. It was horrible. And this kind of stuff happens all the time. So as much as it sucks, as frustrating as it is, I kind of felt a little bit better when I realized that all of these delays that I'm encountering, unfortunately, it's very normal. So I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be nice and accommodating. I'm trying to be understanding. I'm certainly not accusing Tennessee Tiny Homes of lying to me. I don't think they are. I think they're being honest. I said they have tons of excuses, and it's true. They do have tons of excuses, but that doesn't mean those excuses aren't the truth. And the thing is, also on the bright side, Tennessee Tiny Homes is a legitimate company. I did tons of research, and I made sure that I hired someone that was a legitimate company. And if you look at their Facebook and you look at their Instagram, you can see that they're constantly adding new photos. They are constantly building houses. They have houses on tiny house hunters. They have houses on tiny house uh, nation. You know, there's a lot of work that they're doing and they're showing that they're doing the work. So I'm confident that I'm not getting <laughs> scammed by some fly-by-night company. This is a legitimate company. They're just way behind schedule. I mean, look right here. This is their Instagram page. This is the post that they put up for my trailer 16 weeks ago. Okay. And look at how much they have posted since then. We scroll up the page. We see stuff from the 4th of July. We can see all these other tiny homes that they're building. We see yet more tiny homes that they're building. We can see all the construction that's going on. We can see ones that are completed. We can see some of the interiors. Here's some stuff on an episode of Tiny House Hunters where they're talking about an episode that was featuring one of their homes. Here's some of the video footage that they were doing shooting one of these episodes. So clearly they're posting a lot of information and they are actually building homes. The question is, why aren't they building mine? So let's hope that things start moving along. I apologize for those of you, I know I have now thousands of subscribers and hundreds of people are watching my videos. So, you know, as I stand out here in the empty desert, I try to picture like hundreds of you out there because there are hundreds of you who watch this stuff. So I thank you very much for remaining interested. And I figured I should probably make a video like this just to show you that, you know, it's not all smooth sailing. And there are times when people are going to disappoint you. People are going to really frustrate you. But you just keep forging ahead. So hopefully I'll have more frequent updates. Hopefully they will actually start to do something and send me some photos. I was promised once again that next week, as I said, this video is being shot on Saturday, September 17th of 2016. 
and I was promised that next week I'll start getting photos and they're going to be installing the water tanks and we'll see what happens. Thanks again for watching.